Have you ever heard of the Fulbright Scholarship? Oh yeah, in fact, Dr. Shergo went to South Korea on that scholarship. Here's Sally with the story. Dr. Henry B. Sergo, professor of political science at McNeese, chaired the Comparing Presidential Nomination Process in South Korea and the United States panel at the 2009 annual meeting of the Southern Political Science Association in New Orleans. Dr. Sergo worked as a Fulbright senior lecturer at the Yonsei University in South Korea in the 2007-2008 academic year and had the chance to observe the presidential election process there. Uh, while uh, you do have two parties uh, in uh, Korea tending to be uh, well, the, the, the most successful in terms of gaining uh, elective office, they do have a role for minor parties. Uh, the, the, the National Assembly, in the United States, it's actually everybody's a, a Democrat or Republican. They might have some cases like Lieberman where they're you know, ostensibly they're independent, but they caucus with the Democrats. But in uh, they, they actually have because of proportional representation, hybrid system in Korea, uh, they they do have some representation from actually four uh, different parties in the uh, in the National Assembly. So so that's, that's one difference there. Or those two differences actually again the election's pretty more more rapid and uh, the uh, and then they they actually more than more than two parties. Uh, prominent in the uh, in the National Assembly. Dr. Henry Sergo, besides being a senior lecturer at Yangtze University, he has contributed to scholar magazines such as Korean Fulbright Infusion and has also taken part in organizing events in the US ambassador residence with the, with the Royal Asiatic Society. Dr. Sergo will continue to share his studies with the Political Science Society throughout the year. Yeah, I'm going to be at the Southwestern Social Science meeting in uh, particularly the, the political science subunit uh, subsection uh, in uh, Denver, Colorado, and I'm looking forward to that and discussing the work of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and, uh, and how it functions in Korea. And it's, it's, again, it's relatively new. It's only about, uh, it's not even four years old in terms of operating Korea. Uh, in terms of Europe, it's uh, many years, uh, many years older. So yeah, so I'm hoping to. Uh, so I, I plan to be doing that in about two months.